What was Kreia's unseen admission to the Ebonhawk crew that she was secretly a Sith before betraying them that was cut from the final game? I am one of the Sith, it is true. I must answer for my actions, and it is my wish that only Atris hear my answers. There. Do you feel that? Exile. One scene in Knights of the Old Republic 2 that doesn't quite make sense to me, presumably due to some of the content being cut, was Kreia's judgement of the Exile, in which she left them in a heap in the Jedi Enclave on Dantooine, and then has the Handmaiden escort her to Atrus. By the time the Exile comes to, neither Kreia nor the Handmaiden can be seen. It is done. He is no more. Come with me. However, thanks to some handy exposition by an injured Aten Rand at the helm of the Ebon Hawk, we learned that Kreia had incapacitated the crew and openly revealed herself as a Sith. The Handmaiden took her. She thinks Kreia killed you. Yes. The Handmaiden knows who she is now. She'll take her to Telos, and Atris will do what she'll do to anyone she thinks is a Sith. That's why she wanted the Handmaiden on board, you know so she could use her to reach the Telos Academy whenever she wished, without needing the access codes. And then of course we follow the old witch as she enters Atrus's Academy. But what happened exactly to the Ebon Hawk crew when Kreia returned? Well, thanks to the mod Enclave Extended and the Restoration mod, we get to see the events which take place on the Hawk as they are deceived by the Betrayer, and the subsequent scene where the crew members reach out to the Exile, rousing her from her slumber. Listen, awaken, or die. It is done. He is no more. Come with me. The exile. He is dead. We have lost. It is over. No. Now the true war begins. The Jedi is all that united my master and the others. In hatred there is unity. Against a common foe, even enemies may stand side by side. Now they will turn on each other, and the betrayals will begin. They will feed on each other until only one remains. It is more than that. That which waits in the darkness will now show itself. Your master will begin what he has foreseen and hungered for, blinded one. Now the galaxy will begin to die. I am one of the Sith, it is true. I must answer for my actions, and it is my wish that only Atris hear my answers. Ah! Take me to Atris. She will have the strength to do what the Council cannot. What are we going to do? If we don't stop her, then everyone, everywhere, they're going to lose their lives. Soon your ship will come, my master. I will bring him before you, but I will not let you have him. Soon your ship shall come from that which made you. More Jedi dead because of me. But this won't end like the Mandalorian Wars. I won't. I know you can hear me. I have always known. It is why I followed you. I have destroyed planets for you, General. But now, this once, if we could save something in this galaxy... I need to do this, or I will die inside, like I died at Malachor V. ...with others, and then feed on others through that bond. What you have brought is the death of all who can feel the Force. It is your gift to the galaxy, Exile. And unless you hear it, and silence the echo you have caused... Then every living thing everywhere that is touched by the Force will die. <laughs>